What is up guys? Right, today we are doing five quick trick tips. Me and Deck are gonna run you through five of our favorite basics. What have we got? Bar spin? Bar spin, no hander, foot jam, 360 and a towel whip, guys. So make sure you keep watching and you're gonna be as good as us at the end of this video. Boom. Are ready to get these tricks underway and show you guys how to do them make sure to hit that subscribe button guys because we are out on wednesdays and sundays around 8 30 uk time okay so right deck what are we going to start with so we are going to start with one of my favorite tricks the bar spin the bar spin is where you turn your handlebars 360 degrees that is what i like to see there's two ways of doing it yeah it's a bus driver and you hold the bar spin the whole way around yeah hold the bars the other way that I do it, you just let go. I like that guy, I like that way. Yeah, that's what I I'm let doing. go as well. Guys, I like that way. I like to let them go and hope for the best. So right, we're gonna head over to the box and we're gonna do a couple of fly outs. Gonna run you through the technique and then we're gonna do it over the whole thing. Right guys, so we've made it over to the box jump and deck before we start this trick quick, what is the quick few tips before we get started and what to do? So before we start taking off in the air, we wanna just stay on the floor first and just practice spinning the bars around. Okay. I have my seat high, so yeah. I can clamp it with my knees, and the bike won't go anywhere, I'll show you. Yeah. Perfect. Easy as that. Whoa. Look at that. Ooh. Very nice. See, what he did is there, he's using his knees there to keep the bike underneath him, so when he lets them bars go, the bike stands exactly where it is, okay? Right, you ready to try one out for us? Yeah. Here we go, guys. Look at that, see? Simple. That was perfect, simple. So I'm going to hit you with another little quick tip here when you do this one, okay? Because when you do this first off and you're heading straight towards the ramp, I think when you take off, you should take off a little bit to the angle yeah. just in case you miss the bars. Yeah, yeah, you don't you get the I mean? bars of the stomach. Yeah, exactly. Because that can hurt. Yeah. Nick, why didn't you just show us a quick one? Right. Maybe take off a little bit sideways for us. See, guys, can't go wrong with that because you know what? all that power and momentum going forward is taken sideways so if you do miss them when you're learning it you're going to be okay guys you're going to be able to step straight off the bike if you want to watch this frame by frame and you're going to be able to learn that trick what deck's going to do now he's going to be the professional he really is and he's going to do one over the whole box for us and show us how to do it you ready Stay here mate. we go this is going to be the first trick tip done and dusted. we're going to move on to the next perfect and that is why Declan is part of the circus soleil team there out in the US and Canada. Right, here we go. Next tip we're gonna move on to will be... No-hander. The no-hander. No-hander. It's gonna be the no-hander, guys, okay? Now, there is two ways of doing this. We've got a suicide version and the old school version where you put the bars in your lap. We're both gonna show you that. Dex's gonna do a suicide, I'm gonna do the regular one. I'm gonna get my bike out and boom, here we go. On this trick, it is really, really easy as long as you follow these pointers on the ground before we take off. You'll be on your way to learning the trick, okay? So what the old school style no-hander, where you put the bars in and take it off like that, what you're gonna do is, when you take off the ramp, pull your bike into you and get it nice and locked in there. You're gonna use them knees kind of again, just to keep them bars straight so they can't move. And then gradually just start taking them hands off like that. And then before you know it, you're gonna be spread out like an eagle and kaboom, it's gonna look like this. Here we go. Oh, there, there we, we go, go. Ron Dog. I'm not going to lie, guys, it's very difficult <laughs> doing it fly out. You don't much height, but that is how you do it. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to launch one over the whole ramp, okay? Woo, beautiful. And that is how you do the old school no hander, guys. What Declan's going to do for us right now is going to give us a suicide no hander, and we're going to show you the variety of different ways you can do this. You ready, Deck? Ready. Here we I go. Have a little pointer. High seat, you've got to have a high seat, it makes it so much easier for suicide now, Anders. It really does. Yeah. Don't try it with a low seat. <laughs> no, because it'll be bye bye bike. <laughs> Here we go, right, nice little flight deck. Perfect. And that is the suicide no hand, I've done absolutely perfect by deck. He's gonna go for the whole thing. Boom. Nice. And there you go, guys. That is two different ways of quickly how to learn two different no handers. We're gonna move on to the next trick. What I think we're gonna do is there's gonna be a foot jam. I'm gonna demonstrate how to foot jam. Right, the foot jam, okay? Now, my number one tip for this is gonna be keep your body weight in the ramp, okay? As long as you get your foot in that tire and up and you keep your body weight in the ramp, 
even if you crash, you're going back in the ramp. A lot of times you see people trying to learn them and they keep landing on the deck and don't manage to get in there. I'm gonna run us through the trick real quick. I'm gonna show us one and show you what I mean by leaving the body weight in the ramp. Right guys, on that one there, that is what happens when you don't put your body weight in. You're gonna stay stationary right there and not have much room to move back into the ramp. When I do the exact same thing, I put my body weight in, this is what happens. And there you go guys, it's as easy as that. Put pressure on that front foot, keep yourself up, put your body weight in the ramp, and you're gonna pull that in no time at all. Declan is gonna run us through how to do a tower up. Next up guys, now this is one of the more advanced maneuvers. I feel like once you pull your first tower whip, you never lose it, am I correct? Yeah, that is right. You know. So with a tower whip, it's, it's quite a hard trick for a beginner. And what you wanna do is, first of all, you just wanna start kicking it. Kicking it as hard as you can, but you wanna make sure all your body weight is over your handlebars. Yeah. So as it comes round, you're really close. Rather than if you're off the back, you're gonna land with your foot like this, but always gonna keep putting that left or right foot down. Yeah. So you, yeah, you just wanna stay over it, kick it hard, and as soon as you see it coming round, catch it and just chuck them feet on. Jump for the pedals. Yeah. Guys, you're gonna crash this one, okay? I'm not gonna lie, there's gonna be some crashing involved. We don't like to beat around the bush here. That's gonna happen, okay? But trust me guys on this one, once you do it once, and you get near them pedals, you're just gonna progress day in and day out on every single tower you do, okay? So right, Dex's gonna demonstrate a little fly at one for us right now. Look at that, guys. Super easy once you know how to do it. But guys, see how he did that? Moderate speed, took his time on it, okay? Kicked it round so he knew he had enough kick to get the bike around, then look for the pedals and put them feet straight back on them pedals and off he went, rolled off. Right, Dad, you ready to do one over the whole box for us? Yeah, why not? Yeah, he's gonna do one over the whole box. Here we go. Yeah. Then there's a the tower, okay? Now it's gonna take a little bit longer than that to learn, but guys, just keep trying and trying, and you're gonna get there really, really soon. That great work. We are four trick tips in. Yeah, yeah, four in. And what we're moving on to now is gonna be the 360. 360, that's all you, Rob. That is. I think I'm gonna take care of this 360 one, okay? I've been doing it for a long time. I don't know how long, but I'm old. So I'm gonna run us through how to do it. We're gonna start off by almost doing a 180, then working our way around, turning our head a little bit more over the shoulder. And I'm gonna show you what I mean right now, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by doing a 180, okay? I know all you guys out there can 360 when you watch this video, and it's gonna show you how to do it. But I'm gonna start from the basics just so you guys that haven't tried any yet can really get the know-how on how to do the trick. So let's start with a 180, okay? And watch my head and my shoulder, how it turns off the lip with my bike. It's what happens. That was the 180, see, I kept my head turned and when I started coming around to the 180, I started to put my bike down and put my head straight so I could go off back in a straight line, okay? Now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go into a 270 and then we move on to the 360 after that. Here we go. Okay, guys. That is the next one up from the 180. It's going to be a 270, just like that. Got to be honest with you, that hurts more landing like that than landing in a 360 over a whole box. But I just want to give you the timeline of how to learn it and how to progress. Here's going to be a 360. Remember, guys, watch the shoulder and head again, and because that is what's going to bring us round when you pull the handlebars. Okay, and there's a 360, guys. You can start to play around with it after you start learning and put your own style on it. Once you start getting round and landing like that, the world is your oyster. Right, here we go. I'm gonna do one over the whole box now to demonstrate to you what it looks like once you learn the trick properly. Woo! And that is how you 360. You guys, you can even go over the shoulder, but that is for another day. I am gonna show you how to do the Falcon Roll on another episode. So make sure you subscribe, because it's gonna be coming soon. And once you've perfected all them five tricks, guys, this is what starts happening. You can start combining all them tricks together, and Declan's gonna show us what happens when you do some combos, isn't you, Dec? Do some okay. combos, mate. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. There's a truck driver. 360 no hander. That is perfect. Deck is flying all over the place. You see how easy these combos looks once you can do all them tricks? 360 tower whip. Nice. You're going to do the 360 foot jam right now on the deck. And there we go, guys. Well, Guys, there you go, that was a 540 foot jam. You can do it 360, but whatever happens there, you can combine all them tricks we have taught you today together. And guys, we want to see these videos from you guys learning them. So tag me and Deck in them, and we're going to see what you guys are up to. Deck, thanks for the day. No right out there. Thank you guys for watching. 
Guys, like I said, make sure you subscribe because we have got videos coming out twice a week and we will see you on the next episode. Woo!